Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. How are you today? I hope that you have a great day because at this time I would like to retelling story about the narrative text. Before I begin the story, uh, I would like to introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Muhammad Firul Imam. I'm from Lee Chapter 3 and now I'm studying at Sultan Agung Islamic University in Semarang. Yeah. This is the mitam from South Ozim that the famous legend is famous, uh, about the, the queen of South Ozim or you can call it the Nero Rotidu. The story began with once upon a time ago in South Ozim. There was a beautiful princess. Because she's so beautiful, she was called by Dewi Srengenge. It means that she's so uh, 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 the goddess of the sun. Uh, and then her father is the king of Mandingwangi. Although he had a beautiful daughter, uh, the fa her father is not unhappy because he always expected to have a, a son to continue about the next tata from from her. The king, the king is was unsatisfied. This is the king. He want to marry it again with with Dewi Mutiara, and then he had a son from her. Dewi Mutiara wanted her son to become a king in the future. As she asked the king to send his daughter away, the king did not agree. And then Dewi Mutiara, uh, from mother of from uh, the second wife of the king, a uh, called a uh, black wizard uh, to course Kadita. To course Kadita, she wants Kadita, a uh, beautiful body, full ulcer, and then. Kadita, body was full ulcer and then smelled bad. The beautiful princess cried and then she makes like this. She is so bad, beautiful. The king so sad. No one could cause his doctor illness. The king did not want her doctor to be rumors, so he had sent her away. The pure princess, the poor princess did not know where to go somewhere however she had a noble heart she did not have any bad feeling about her stepmother she walked and for almost seven days and seven nights then she came to the south ocean and then the ocean was so clean and clear there was a sound at to she jumped into the water and swam Suddenly, there was a miracle. The ocean was cured her illness. And then she became more beautiful than before. She also had a power to command the whole South Ocean. She became a very accolade, a Nyiroro Kidul, or the Queen of South Ocean. So, that's its uh, story from a short portion that's famous a kalat of Nero Rakidun and then you, uh, you have a uh, uh, hear about the story and then that's all from me thank you for watching Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh